it's like weird at first that like to be able to see everything because it's like okay i wasn't able to see yesterday or two hours ago but now i can see you hey guys so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about the life changing procedure that i had done um exactly two months ago i got it done on june june 19th so by the time this video goes up it's gonna be like a week after so i'd be two months and one week post-op so if you guys want to find out a little bit more about the procedure that i had done then keep on watching where do i begin where do i begin i have my mirror right here as you guys can see i got my surgery done um june 19th as i previously said um Um, I have my mirror right here and I already applied primer, so let's get to it. I got my surgery done June 19th um, at 9 a.m. in the morning. It took approximately, to have it done, like when I went under, it took about seven five minutes seven minutes i want to say something around that time i got lasik done in my eyes and it's just amazing. That's literally the word to describe that surgery. It's really scary though, I'm not gonna lie, um, because when you're under, you're awake. They do apply drops to numb your eye, but the scary part is when you're laying there, you can see everything that the doctor is bringing near your, your face, near your eye. So for example, like, they put like this like opening eye thing so you won't like blink or anything and then you can see where like they have like this little brush broom looking thing to like wipe away like tears or wetness in your eye and you can literally see as that scrapes against your eye and then they use like a scalpel. They they like cut your your flap with like laser, so you can see when that comes down and everything just gets dark. And then he uses like a little scalpel, I believe, to lift up what he cut. And then that's when you see blurry. You can still see it, but it's blurry. But you can see when he like brings the scalpel near your eye. When he lifts it up, you see all that. I wanted to record for you guys the whole procedure. Um, they actually were gonna allow me to. They were gonna um. If I keep looking that way, it's because I have a mirror behind there, behind the camera as well. Um, they were gonna have one of their employees record for me, but um, <clears throat> they were short staffed because it was in June, so um, COVID was really crazy in June. I mean, it still is, but you know. Um, I paid approximately three thousand four hundred sixty for both eyes. The most you can pay for both eyes is together is five thousand. So I paid three thousand four hundred sixty. So I saved about a thousand six hundred, thousand five hundred forty. So I think that's not bad at all. And I mean, it's a surgery that lasts your whole life. There are risks to it. So if you guys want to get LASIK, 
definitely look into the risks and see if it's something that you guys are okay with or not. I was definitely okay with it because if it worked, everything was going to come out great. No more glasses, no more contacts. And if it didn't work, well, there was that risk. But everything in life has a risk. The ride home was definitely the worst day, the first day, because you, you're able to walk out your, by yourself still. Um, you're able to see, but you have to wear um, these really dark shades that they give you. Um, and so they give you like, I believe that was the Xanax that they gave me. I believe it's a Xanax. Um, so they give you half of a Xanax um, before you go in there for like to calm you down, anxiety. So I definitely took it because I tend to get um, panic attacks. So I took it and then I guess that helps you sleep afterwards. Um, so on the way home, I had to sleep. I mean, I couldn't open my eyes. I, I can't, I could, but I could open my eyes, but you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to like, cause they're still weak. You have to keep your eyes closed, but then there's a moment when you're asleep cause you fall asleep. There's a moment when you fall asleep and while you're asleep, you just feel burning. You literally feel your eyes burning. So you have to wake up and put some drops in. It's really hard though because they burn. You you flinch when you're putting drops in. And it's just a scary thing, honestly. So you put those drops in. I had to take one, two, three drops. It was three different drops and one pill so the pill i had to take i believe it was two in the morning into a night or one in the morning no it was two in the morning and one to a night yeah and then the drops there was one drop that was morning and night and that one burned really bad all the time that one would just make it burn but that was for the first 10 days the one that burned and then the one there was another one that was um morning and night as well that one was okay and then there was another one that was every two three hours um that one was okay because that one was like um eye tears like artificial eye tears so that one was okay and then that was the pills and the two two drops for for 30 days and then the one that burned was only for 10 days so i got home and i instantly had to go to sleep because you have to take a nap after you get your procedure done like a four or five hour nap so that's what I did. I woke up. My mom had tortas done. Tortas de milanesa de pollo. She makes them herself. We do not buy the chicken like empanizado. So she breads it herself. Let me do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. You have to sleep with the um, black shades that they give you on. And you do have to tape them to your face like down here. So they won't slide around in your sleep and the reason why you have to sleep with those on is because you know when we wake up we're so used to picking our eye boogers out or even rubbing our eyes so that's what they want to prevent that you do when you wake up because if you do rub your eyes you can dislocate your flap so it'll literally move around because it's your flap is basically like a circle right like a circle so when they cut it they literally cut all this and there's literally just like a piece up here attached so you can dislocate that because that they just bring it down they don't like sew it back on there they don't glue it down nothing and you definitely do not want to dislocate that because then you're gonna have to have surgery and it's risky you know and even to take a shower you have they give you like shower goggles to shower with um what i really liked was the service like how they treat the patients well how they treat me um they definitely give you like the day of the procedure they give you like your little bag they put everything in there ready for you to go um so it's really it's, it was really nice it was a good procedure it was really hard to to um go outside it was really hard to go outside because I don't like shades at all. I don't like shades. So 
to have to wear them was really difficult for me because if you don't the um the sun and the daylight your eyes it, they bother your eyes because your eyes are literally sensitive my i'm two months post-op and my eyes are still sensitive to the daylight i still have to wear shades outside because your eyes are just sensitive you know and that's the part that i don't like about it because i thought it was like gonna go away but i'm still sensitive to the daylight not like vampire sensitive but like i have to look down if i don't have my shades on sensitive But I'm not bad-mouthing bad it. I'm not talking bad about it. I'm just letting you guys know what I like about it. And what I don't like about it. But overall, I love it. I think it was a great decision for me to make. My vision was really getting worse. I used to be able to see while driving, like, without my glasses. I could see in the daylight. And then it, start, it started getting to a point where it was more blurry. In the day daylight i couldn't in the daytime i couldn't see anymore not even to drive so i stopped driving for like about three months i stopped driving just because i couldn't see and i didn't have glass like i had my glasses but they were old prescription so i like i kind of thought about it i was like okay if i add up everything that i'm gonna spend in my whole lifetime with glasses because you do have to get new glasses every year versus how much i'm gonna spend right now one time you know it's 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 a big difference like you're gonna spend more time on glasses overall you know so i think it was a really great decision so if you want to go for it go for it you just really have to keep up with your drops because if not your eyes get dry my eyes still tend to get dry Um, I don't apply anything to them so they do tend to still get dry not every day but still sometimes and when you first get your eyes done do not get them wet you cannot get them wet because it's it's just bad to get them wet I don't know why but you can't get them wet you can't pick at them you can't touch them you can't wear makeup for a week um, and they do recommend that you purchase your makeup new um, I didn't wear makeup for <clears throat> like a month and a half. I really wanted to give them a break. And I wasn't going anywhere, you know, quarantine. So I was just at home most of the time. Um, so I really didn't have a reason to put on makeup. I didn't like need to or like I didn't have the urge to because I was just at home. But I definitely recommend it if you want to get it. It's something that I do not regret. Um, would I do it again? <clears throat> I think yes and no. Yes, because of like the results, you know, like I can see everything now, literally everything. I can see everything now. Um, and just know because of like the dryness, like the first couple of days, the burning, the having to sleep with shades on, um, having to shower with goggles on. But I mean, I feel like every procedure has its pros and its cons. I feel like every procedure, there's something that you're not going to like. Obviously, every procedure, nobody likes the recovery time, you know? Um, but the good thing is that you don't have to stay in bed. You don't have to stop going to work. You just take one day off. That's it. Because the next day, the day after the procedure, you do have to go back to get like checked up to see that everything went well. So you do have to go back to see that everything went well. Um, and that day, you're actually able to drive to the place on your own. So with your shades on, of course. So you don't even have to take days off of work. Um, so the recovery is not that bad. It's just like the burning, the dryness. I didn't drive 
the second day I had my mom, my parents take me because I don't drive on the highway. I don't drive on the highway. Never driven on the hallway. Hallway. Highway. I've never driven on the highway. Um, and it was like an hour away from my house. So that's the tea. Um, definitely. Definitely. Recommend. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> if you guys do see this shirt in my next video it's because i am getting a tattoo today i'm getting my back tattooed so that's why i'm getting ready so i just decided okay why not get ready and make a video talk about the procedure and then drop another video getting my tattoo um i'm gonna put on my eyelashes and then i'll be back with you guys no actually i'm gonna do my hair and then i'll be back okay you guys so makeup is done eyebrows are on lashes are on piercing is out i'm just gonna put some lip gloss on um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um the next video is gonna be me getting my um back tattoo so unfortunately guys i told you guys i was getting tattooed today but we have to reschedule for sunday because something happened with my t tattoo artist and his babysitter so um i'm still getting it done on sunday today's friday but i'm getting it done on sunday so i will for sure drop that video for you guys next week on probably wednesday thursday friday something around that day um but lasik wise if you're looking forward to getting it if you're looking into it i totally 100 percent recommend it it changes your life it's like weird at first that, like to be able to see everything because it's like okay i wasn't able to see yesterday or two hours ago but now i can see you know but like the second third day is like the best that's when you realize like damn like like dang like i could see you know it's it's life-changing honestly because like i mean i started wearing um classes when I was in sixth grade and I didn't get my surgery done till six years later so it's definitely worth it definitely recommend it so if you're looking forward to get it then get for it um thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my tattoo video bye